Canicle tequila, everybody. Yeah! Yep, that's me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena. Hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. This is the mood right here. Corey, I know, but that's just how we are here. Period. Okay, as you can see, Corey is pouring up the shots of the Corey tequila. Okay, she's mad focused. Y'all know what it is. No introduction needed. BK, not the little one. <laughs> She looked like a damn DJ with this thing on her head, with the blows of being on her head. Uh. <laughs> like, hey, voila. You know, I just came from spinning my one and twos. I just came from seeing my man, my man, my hand. Yes, y'all, we went to the two C concerts. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it because it's coming out before this video. So when you're done with this, go back to that for the context of why we look like this. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, Oof. Child. Hey, let's take a shot. Cause I let's take one it. because what's going on here? <laughs> Please. <laughs> You're probably like, what the fuck is so funny? <laughs> yeah, uh, as y'all can tell by the title, this is about online dating apps and men in general. Really, we just wanted a rant. So we said, oh, this could be a tipsy talk. So here we are. Enjoy this. <laughs> you want to tell the people what just took place? <laughs> matching just for entertainment <laughs> she's, not even, she's like i'm just no. gonna match just for <laughs> they match back no this right <laughs> damn this that was scary think. um no that, that's the white boy no Ken, the one yes like, the one like him. yes mm -hmm. go for it man. what i said something uh, so like why something. would you not say something back hold on my eyes watering because this is crazy um okay so tell them how hinge works hinge <laughs> well Corey has experience on all the apps we were just sitting here one day and she yeah. told me to download hinge so i downloaded it then i uninstalled it and then i <laughs> downloaded it back because she brought it back up <laughs> okay i like hinge because hinge it like almost forces you to like put a little bit more effort into your profile because you have to have X amount of prompts. Mm -hmm. So on the other platforms like Tinder, you really don't have to, like you can just have a Tinder with no bio. Like, Ooh, yeah, so that's what thing? that's what I remember. Yeah, I haven't been on Tinder in a while because baby, no, no thank you. But um, yeah, so Tinder is just like, you know, it just has the name and then it has the age. It doesn't really have like much information mm -hmm. sometimes. But Hinge is like, okay, you know, we have voice prompts. Those are entertaining. People can, you know, <laughs> those are entertaining. Talk, yeah. um, pictures, and you can hear their voice videos. Before they ever right. Call it every time. Also, I like Hinge because you can send likes to people and then you can see who has sent you a like. Mm -hmm. If you have Tinder or Bumble or whatever and you like don't pay for the premium version, you're only going to match with people if you so happen to swipe right on so that person. Already who right already right swipe right on you. Exactly. So that's why I'm like Hinge is just funny. It's like entertainment because of how people build their profiles. But also, I'm on there intentionally at the same time. But it's like the stuff that comes across my, the stuff that comes to me personally. To say that she could be a possible match is hilarious. It's hilarious. So yeah, what just happened right there though? Because <laughs> on Hinge you get roses. They just changed it to what super likes or something. Super they just likes. updated it. So it's like, oh, okay, every week I'll get a free super like mm -hmm. now. But they used to be roses. I like roses. They should have kept roses. That would have been cuter. But mm -hmm. every week I get a free rose. And Hinge likes to gatekeep. Like, look at all these fine men that are over here in my standouts because they want me Ooh. to send a super like. Sheesh. Correct. Waterboard ass. So they gatekeep all the folks that they think, oh, yeah, she'd probably really like this person. 
And so, but I asked Corey, I was like, how would you know if we're not a stand on somebody else's stuff? No, I'm pretty sure we are. I'm well, pretty sure we are, but we'll know. never know, like, unless we get a super like. Because True. most of the time, a super like. yeah, most of the time, I mean, they say that the roses were, you know, um, how do you say it? Oh, they're seen first or whatever. Like, people they are were most likely that, to match back. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, I'm like, if somebody sends me a rose and they're ugly, I'm still not going to match back with them. Correct. You know what I'm saying? So, most of the time when people are just doing regular matches, they're not sending a rose. Right. They're right, sending right, a rose right, when right. it's, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm like... If I do get a rose or a super like now, then I would just automatically think like, oh, I was on their standout. Because mm -hmm. why would you just send me that when you could just send me a regular like? A regular like and yeah. not waste it. Right. Yeah, I can see that. Or you pay for them. So if you want more, then you pay for them. So and I... It also mean he's really interested. So he's yeah. a rose. It might be. You'll just never know. Unless you ask. Unless you ask. Exactly. <laughs> but this person, um, I had a free rose and then they'd be like, oh, your rose is going to expire. They do expire. So yeah, I had to one. find somebody to send a rose to, I guess. <laughs> but I was like really holding on to my she rose. Be mad picky. Mad because I'm like, hey, it's I'm my... one free one. I don't know what I'm going to Hey man, one. I'm not just throwing out these roses, man. Anyway, I sent the rose to this man. That was like, what, two days ago? Mm -hmm. I can tell you what day it was. Shoot. But he just matched back with me. August 13th. That was three, three days, days ago. ago. I sent him what a rose. He ain't been on that. He ain't been on but the app. you just matched with me at 1.13 a.m. And you haven't why said anything. Why would you match with me and not say anything? Exactly. Because I commented on his picture and I said something. So why would he match back and not, and say, not something? say something? So like, you want yeah, me to you're then... beautiful too. You want me to double text you? He is pretty as fuck though. I'm so. like, yo, hey, hey. Damn. Give me another shot. And I'm like, say something. <laughs> You know, that's what she said. I'm like, what? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all about this damn hinge date I went on. Where's the liquor? Yeah, I'm about to say something. What am I going to say? Hey, what should I say? Oh, I should say something before the even the second shot. What should I say? Smiley face. I already said, yeah, I already said handsome, so. Yeah. Let me get this. Hey, let me put his name. Hey, Al. 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 Hey, Al. <laughs> his name is Al. <laughs> <laughs> Just send it. <laughs> it's been sent. Ooh. Not everybody is up at this hour. It's 1.21 in the morning. On Anyways. freaking Wednesday. On to your, <laughs> on to your um... <laughs> I'm about to fall out this fucking chair when she starts talking about this date. So what had happened was there was this guy. You'll name the guy Donnie. Donnie. So Donnie messaged me and he's like, "Wow, you're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, right, right, got God from these niggas." So he's like talking the talk, walking the walk. You know, super consistent. Good morning text all that and then he's like yeah we should continue this conversation in text can i get your number and give it to him niggas who ain't gonna get nigga got game this was the one nigga that got game right here and i was like okay he seems cool we haven't gotten no awkward awkward pauses yet whatever we go to the date first of all the date was she's that clacking her nails so just give her the shot because she's already getting irritated again She's getting irritated again because she's starting to clack. <laughs> I usually send Corey voice notes, <laughs> but this bribed a phone call. This <laughs> turned into a four, four hours. hours. Four hours on the phone, y'all. Spiraling. <laughs> like, The date was at Velvet Taco in Buckhead. First of all, never been. So I don't know what to experience, right? I, 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 what to expect, not what to experience. I say to Corey, wow, he said Velvet Taco, whatever. <laughs> She's laughing already because the plot twist I'm about to say, if you're in my close friends, you already know the story because, yo. And y'all were in my DMs just like, girl, no. Okay. So we go to Velvet Taco. As soon as I, first of all, he messages me, I'm here, right? So I'm like, okay, I wonder where. So I get out of my car at that point. 
And I know that's him up there standing by the door. So I'm walking and I was like, uh, Donnie? And he was like, Serena? And I was like, yeah. And then we go inside. He holds the door for me. He's like, oh, nice to meet you. He gives me a side hug. Fine. Because I don't know you. You don't know me. All right. We go inside. And it's like the same setup as Willie's, but without all the toppings right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's like, have you ever been here before? I said, no. And he's like, well, it's kind of like Moe's, just you can't see what you're putting in it. I said, oh, okay. Do you know what you're getting? He's like, yeah. We go over there and I was like, well, I kind of been in a nacho mood, but I don't eat brisket. You think I can swap it out? This is my exact words. He's like, I don't see why you couldn't, right? So we get to the register. He goes, yeah, I'm going to get brisket nachos. She also wants brisket nachos, but no brisket. Do chicken instead. The lady says, we don't do substitutions. He goes, they don't do substitutions. So what else are you going to get? So I don't know. I didn't look at everything. And I, I heard her just say that, right? <laughs> I'm looking at the menu again. I said, oh, looking at the menu again. I looked at the lady. I said, so it only comes with one taco? Like one, two, three. Because it said four ninety five, but it just said taco with blah, blah, blah. So I said, it only comes with one taco? And she said, yeah, it's a la carte. So I'm looking at it. And the first word I see is avocado dressing, whatever. I know I like that. So I just said, let me get a number three. So he goes, okay, get her a number three. And the lady was like, okay, everything on the spot? I said, yeah. And then she goes, well, what, do you, what would you like to drink, love? Talking to me. The nigga goes, she'll take a water cup and me too. And then he proceeds to grab like this. There you go. How much is it? Fourteen seventy-five. I said, by the way, can you add another taco? Because I mean, I'm supposed to eat one taco with water <laughs> for dinner. So, <laughs> my y'all, I live in East Atlanta. He lives in Buckhead, and the restaurant is in Buckhead. It took me forty minutes to get there. One taco with water. My homegirl was like, the way that I would have went to the bathroom and never came back from the bathroom. Like, anyway, so we're sitting there. He's drinking his water. I put lemonade in my cup, okay? And he watched me do it. No shame. Because you didn't ask me what I wanted. And I didn't ask for water. There's nothing wrong with water. But that's not what I, I wanted. Nor would have asked for if you asked me if I wanted it. <laughs> so we are sitting down the entire time we're sitting down. He's talking about how he hates Florida. At that point, I realized I fucked up. And <laughs> 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 the water cup and the hatred of Florida. The water cup itself was an immediate <laughs> X. <laughs> it just spirals from down there. But the vivid thing that I remembered <laughs> was the water cup. Then he finishes his water, right, as we're eating. And he goes... Do you want a refill? Corey. <laughs> I didn't tell you this part. Do you want a refill? I said, yeah, I can get another refill. Why does he come back with water? <laughs> I had lemonade. I you saw me put lemonade in that. <laughs> you saw me put lemonade in that water cup. Oh, baby. Was that a red flag to you? Was I stealing? <sighs> You made my girl steal a lemonade on the first day. And that was my first hinge day. <laughs> and I told Corey, I'm just going to uninstall the Because the way I had to slide in that I wanted two tacos, please. Get my head chopped off. Yeah, I eat. Child, I don't know what went wrong. It's the water cup. The water. And so now we call him water cup. It's a water cup for me because how you didn't even ask me what I wanted. She's talking to me. Why are you answering for me anyway? Correct. You don't even know me like that. Because all you can afford is a water cup. But if you can't afford to go on a date, then why, why are, are we, we here? here? Or you could just say you can't afford it. I'll buy it for my fucking self. But the way you interject and tell me I'm going <clears> to <throat> drink a water cup is just crazy. So I put lemonade in it. 
<laughs> Ice and lemonade. No shame. <clears throat> yes. That's what I got right now. <laughs> So yeah, that was my hinge date. And then my <clears throat> second hinge date was better than my first, way better. But it's just something about the men that use these apps. They're crazy. And then it's like, how many other girls are you on a hinge date with throughout the week? I don't know. Like, Honestly. how does this app seem for the guy? You know? For the girl, it's like, okay, here we go again. But for the guys, it's like, you know, I'm taking shoddy out this day. You know, I'm fucking with shoddy. This day. You know what I, I mean? don't know how it is. I need to know. I would love to know the perspective of a man on yeah. a dating app. Wow. Because this ain't POF, and I told her that. I was just scrolling through. Um, I said, no. She says, I'm just going <laughs> through other apps to download. She, no, I, see, I was you know, just, I said, no. no. I was just getting, so I downloaded Bumble. Yeah. And when I was downloading Bumble, you know, it's like showing me all the other apps. And I'm like, that damn. I was like, damn, I didn't know that there were like this many apps out there because yeah. people don't speak about them. No. You know, I had already heard about that one. That's why I was just like, oh yeah. my God, no. But yeah, I was scrolling like through all these miscellaneous dating apps. And I'm like. Look. I know about black. I know about that one. Yeah. And I know about Christian mingle or Christian single. Yeah. I know that one. There's a whole bunch of them in there. I'm like, wow, this is kind of crazy. So, People yeah. You probably don't even know that men on a dating app. Because we all meet on Instagram <clears throat> and stuff now, you know? Right. And then we go meet each other. <sighs> well, <clears throat> how's, how's your experience been? You got y'all got my story time. Um, <laughs> well, when I first became single, the first time, mm -hmm. a long time ago, I had got on dating apps. I got on Hinge and then I got on Tinder because I had heard like just a lot about the two. Hinge was kind of like very much not giving what it needed to have gave. Um, I met like two people I think on Hinge and I went on a date. That was a long time ago. I went on a date. It was just no. <clears throat> it was just no. It was just no. It was just no. But then I went on a Tinder date. Mm. And it was like this guy, you know, Tinder and Bumble, they use your location. So you can see how close, close. you are to somebody. That's cool. Um, it is cool, but it's just like, okay, you really have to pay attention to that and check for consistency because it's just like, okay, niggas be all over this fucking map. You know what I'm saying? And it'll tell you when a nigga is 700 miles away. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like, okay, do you really live over here? Like, is your location mainly two miles away or is oh, it it's always? Like current location? Yes, or, it's oh, current. I don't like that. Yes. So as you move Are you around. Just over here because you're over here. Exactly. Or do you as you here? move around, it updates mm, how far that's, away that's crazy. you are from that person. So I'm just like, Okay, yeah. The person oh, I was talking crazy. to was living close to me and then was like, oh yeah, I'm going to New York for X, Y, and Z. And then it was like X hundred miles away. That's I was crazy. like, oh. That's crazy. It is. So yeah, so I had matched with this guy on Tinder and he was very close to where I was living. And I was like, okay, that's cool. You know, convenient, whatever. And he's like, oh yeah, let's go out. Like he was really like planning this date or whatever, but I was not out on the town in that area when I was mm -hmm. living out there. I'm like, I don't really know anything about the area. Like, I just kind of work and stay in my little place, go to the chiropractor, go get my wax and come home, mm -hmm. go to the mall, go to my favorite restaurants, whatever. So I'm like, I don't know about any of these little spots. And he's just like, oh yeah, I know this really cool spot. It's actually really close and we can go and it's like a good little vibe. And he was just saying all this stuff, like bigging this place up. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, I'll meet you over there or whatever. He had kind of like picked the place, picked the time, picked the day. I was like, this is great. He's yeah, playing the whole, he's he playing a whole day. You want to see me? Yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> when I tell you I was so nervous to go on this date, y'all, like I yeah. did a whole, I'm, it was a whole bit. It was a whole event, basically. Like everybody was involved. My mom was involved. Like, had to get my hair done, had to get this done, had to get that done, had to do my makeup, had to pick an outfit, had like, and everybody, I'm on FaceTime, everyone, oh my God, I'm like, oh, like this is the first time that your girl, TikTok I made a whole TikTok. This is the first time that I actually dated, yeah. dated, because I went from being with a nigga in high school to then being with a nigga in college and then 
because that's it pools yeah and, and then work. yeah so i'm like there was never a time for me to like really meet new people or anything i'm like it's always somebody that i either grew up with we went to school together or you know this is how we met mm -hmm. and so i'm like this is a moment like this is a big thing so i got the fuck cute yeah. fresh wig i'm talking pin curls y'all pin yeah. cur freshly curled pin curls we got pin curls in okay and i'm over here taking shots of don julio out the fucking bottle like i'm nervous, stressed nervous. i'm yeah. nervous i'm like oh my god i'm doing all this stuff y'all okay so the <laughs> place was literally six minutes from where i was at i said okay cool so i literally pushed it to the limit i'm like i'm getting ready i'm almost done the date is starting in like 10 minutes i gotta go mm -hmm. pull up he's there that's cool and it's like this place that's in the cut literally like in uh -huh. the middle of nothing and i'm like all right cool go inside y'all it smells like cigarettes yeah! people are in this bitch smoking cigarettes y'all i'm talking about cigarettes after cigarettes cigars it's maybe like two out of 50 people smoking cigars i'm like okay if everybody was smoking a cigar okay even though that's still disgusting to me. I don't really like, I'm not into it. But cigarettes, after I just, a fresh wig, I'm like, so we're going to be in here for two plus hours. Niggas are going to be blowing cigarette smoke mm -hmm. on me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to smell disgusting when I leave here. My wig is going to smell disgusting when I leave here. I'm like. Is it a cigar bar? It's a cigar bar. Oh, but it's like this place. I mean, they have pool tables. They have food. They have like drinks. Like a pub. Like a, yeah. It's like yeah. this kind of, but it's like you can smoke cigarettes in there. You can smoke cigars and you do basically whatever you want to do in there. Mm -hmm. But it's a whole bunch of white people in here, y'all. I'm like this. Why? Why are we bigging this place up? Not to be no type of way, but like. Did they sell food? They did sell food. Was food was good. Did was you stay? Not good. I did stay. I was like. He was fine, y'all. Let me start there. He was fine. Okay. So I was like, hey. I'm interested. I'll watch the wig. I'm interested. Okay. He was so cute, y'all. And it was just, yeah. I was like, I was really trying to stick it out. And I'm like, this is literally the first date that I've really been on. And I am so nervous, but also trying to figure out. I'm like, he wants to play pool. I'm like, nigga, I don't know how to play pool. Teach me. And he's like, oh, I'll teach you. I'll teach you. I'm like, mm -hmm. this is crazy. But yeah, I was just like... <laughs> Niggas will really paint a picture for you and be like, oh, it's so nice. Yeah. And it's really not a good place. I'm like, what there's are no, standards? There's no vibe. There's no nothing. Like, the food is not good. Why do you like to come here? Because you want to play pool? There's no other pool tables in this neighborhood? Maybe the smell is nostalgic. It was, it was not good. But, but. Me and him did date for a little. Like, we went on multiple dates after that. So, I was just like, okay, it progressively got better. But I'm just like, it's always the first one. It's like, can we just have a normal first date? And then, well, my thing is, what is the rush into the date? Like, the actual first date? I don't feel like it should be that rush. Like, we talked for two days. Now you want to meet up. You know what I'm saying? It's like... I, get to know me a little bit before we waste time going out somewhere. Yeah. If you're FaceTiming me and we feel the vibe, then we can go on a date. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, like, I mean, I kind of, okay, it just depends, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I have also been in a situation where it's just like, okay, you match with somebody and they literally just want a pen pal and they want to talk and talk and talk and talk. They don't ever want to meet up. Mm -hmm. So it's like, there's a fine line. Like if we match on a Monday, okay, maybe we might not be able to go out on a Tuesday because baby, I got plans okay mm -hmm. like i mean we got shit to do we got we got stuff to do i got stuff to make i got businesses to run i got content to make you got content to make so it's just like okay we may not be able to go out the next day but let's plan something out okay so after we match if we're meeting within the first week i'm okay with that but yeah, as I'm long okay it, but i mean as long as it's not need to, yeah like, it's not something that needs to be forced no it shouldn't be forced yeah it shouldn't be forced, but also I'm like, yeah, I do think that we should FaceTime, you know, maybe like a day mm -hmm. after talking because FaceTime, it's just yes. like, if there's no vibe here, what are we doing? Or there's a lot of long pauses. Between messages, it's like, what's up? Even just on the phone. I'm talking, I say something and it's a long pause because yeah. no one knows what to say. Yeah. Like, don't force the conversation. 
Because now you want to link, and that's weird to me. Yeah. Can he say something? Um, I guess not. <sighs> We're just waiting on responses at this point, y'all. It's okay. What the hell's going on here? Where? where? Oh, nothing. He's not saying anything. Crazy, right? But then it's like you responded to me like days later. So it's like niggas really will download apps and match with you and knowing that they don't use the app. So it's just like, why are you yes. here? Why did you match them? Why did you send me a like? Why did you even get on this app if you're not going to use it? And like I said to my close friends, I hate when I'm having a conversation with someone, they fall asleep and they come back and continue the conversation. Like it's not a new day. Like you shouldn't say good morning and then circle back. Right, talk, right, right. You know, like Rude. where are y'all manners? Rude. Exactly. Just like they could say, oh, okay, yeah, I'm back to try this again. Are you free Thursday? No. No. Okay, I haven't talked to you to in like two again. weeks. Like, boy, bye. I don't want to see you. No, what's up? <laughs> and that was a nigga that really tried to like see me on the same day. Like, we matched and we started talking. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm about to go to, to the pool. You should come hang out. I'm like, nigga, I have plans. I don't know you. It, you might draw me. And then I'm saying, as a man, wouldn't that make you feel like, okay, shawty not just going and linking up with everything? You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't think like that? Y'all just want me to link? You don't care? What? You don't care? I think not the, that that's what I I'm think, doing. I'm I think saying, the like, morals are like out the window. I see. I think the morals are out the window. And I think that there's new, new standards or whatever. Because it's just like, I've had multiple people that's like, Oh yeah, okay, let's do X, Y, and Z. Um, let me know. You want me to pick you up or we I'm can like, meet there. And I'm just like, I don't want you to pick me up. I don't want I block I don't somebody know about you. that. Like I block somebody about that. And I can it, get myself there. It sucked. I will meet you there. That nigga was fine. Yeah. <laughs> that was a ride I wanted to ride. It's always the fine ones. That are just stupid. Mm-hmm. If I'm laying a boundary and I say I don't want to do something, I don't need you to convince me that I do want to do it. You mm-hmm. know? That's an immediate flag because that means now you think I don't have a mind of my own or you're try- going to try to manipulate every decision I make if we move forward. Yep. So I need to nip that down. So I had to block you. You're so fine. <sighs> Such a lost cause. I hate wasting opportunities. <laughs> Y'all. It's ghetto out here. I just feel like if you just matched with me at 1 16 in the morning, right? You fell asleep that fast? I do that. But that shit don't like me. Our thread be opening and I'll be drooling. She know that. But my thing is. Sunny is but so. my thing is, we don't ever start a message. Yeah, we don't like, we start don't start it. a new conversation. We're still having the same. Exactly. Thing. So yeah. if we, we've been talking all day and then we fall asleep, okay, that's fine. But for you to message me and say hey and then two minutes later it's just like oh now i'm asleep for you what you sent me a location to me you're on the app swiping or whatever you swipe on me we now matched it then sends you a notification to say something to the person so now you're staring at it but then you see hey what a smile face because Corey went ahead and sent it (laughs) shot so I know you're awake. You just was hoping I wasn't awake so that you could think of what to say by the time you woke up. And I'm up. And I said, hey. The crazy same right? time you're swiping on my Crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. And Bumble, y'all. Bumble is so shady. Like, you have to... The girl has to speak first. The girl makes the first move. I think that's pretty cool. It's not. Uh, boosting these niggas ego i'm That's all true. for girl power and girls making the first move but some niggas just don't deserve like That's y'all true. literally should court me approach me this man literally decide. just said that to me he's like because talking what about is that talking about um like what we were gonna do when we met up or whatever and i'm like well you should plan something Cause I'm like, is it really that hard for you to plan a date? No, because I said that to my second hinge date. He said, so when are we going to link? And I said, plan, plan something, something. And then I can tell you if I'm available. He goes, okay, what about so-and-so day at so-and-so place? I said, one moment. I checked my calendar. I said, yeah, that'll work. 
And then we saw each other that day. Very simple. It's very simple. So this man was like, oh. In a public place? Well, yeah. Works. I mean, <laughs> maybe the first link should be just like Bumble, how you had to say something first. Girl power. Da, da, da. I'm like, I'm not planning the first date. I'm just not. He said girl power? <laughs> He said that? I think he said something along those lines. Uh, he X. said something along those lines. X. I don't remember exactly what he said, but it was something along those lines. And He's I was just like... With their Kevin Samuels mentality. I was like... You are the man. He who goes out and finds a wife. Look at that. The Bible <laughs> said. Okay. The only time... I was like, oh, yeah, let me um, step into this planning. I started talking to somebody that literally had just moved here the day that we started talking. he didn't know. He knew what nothing. Thing. So that's why I was just like, oh, he's like, but he's actively asking me, like, Trying what to. are your favorite places or what are some good spots in the city, da, da, da. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, then I can give my suggestions and start, you know, talking about stuff. But Because you actually want to take it. Yeah, them. and you actually just don't know, but... If you've been here your whole life, where where do you like to go? Like plan something, and then this this nigga that I'm talking about in particular is a local. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking about local as in six minutes away from the house. Like. Local as in you know me from high school type shit. Mm -hmm. But so they matched on him. I like so you know all things mm -hmm. this area like we've been here for Quite a time. decade like <laughs> hey <laughs> even There's if you didn't do even locally you don't have to go to atlanta <laughs> for but okay i'm you like don't. even if you and didn't... that's another red flag why do y'all be acting like you don't know nothing like oh my <laughs> god what is this since when do the men act clueless? I thought the women were supposed to act clueless to boost y'all ego. But y'all act like you don't know anything. They don't know shit about shit. Like, apparently. But, you know. It's simple math. Yeah. Literally. This nigga team, wants to I take, take me. all y'all bitches. He want to take me Chick-fil-A for the first link. Y'all. Chick-fil-A. I told Corey that the Chick-fil-A date is equivalent to the water cup. <laughs> Okay. I'm just like, two combos at Chick-fil-A is a good 20 bucks. <laughs> it's not even about the money. It's, it's not about the money. It's about the effort you're putting in. Exactly. Not the money. No. You can take me to go to Corral, but if you heard me say that I like going to Corral and you take me to go to Corral, that's great. That's a $40 a day. Ask me if I care. It's not about I didn't money. say I need to go to Ruth Chris. For the first day. I'm just saying. I don't even Listen care. Listen to what I say I like and take me. If, if you took me to Kava, I'd be happy. Because you just put, you're listening to what I like. And Girl. you're, you know, it's very fucking simple. Very simple. It's but not. if you say, let's go to Starbucks for our first date. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um... I'm like, um, no, I'm trying to like categorize the different levels of outings. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're saying Chick-fil-A to me, it just <laughs> sounds like drive through. It just sounds crazy. Okay, because I'm like, okay, if a nigga would say, oh, let's go to Cold Stone or let's go to Scoops and let's then get some ice go. cream and then let's go, you know, sit out in the and square the park, or yeah. go to the park or whatever in the evening and let's just That's the out. day. I would say yes. Now, mind you, it's not about the money because my ice cream is going to cost way less than yes. a fucking Chick-fil-A meal. It's not even a full meal. But at the same it's time... It's setting. It's an in and out joint. Okay? They can both be categorized. It's just... No. Uh, it's just Dessert. the... It's just versus a fast food chain, mm, fast food restaurant. Maybe it's a fast food thing. It's the fast food thing. If I said let's go to McDonald's and sit by the play playground area I'm with the going. AC, you're not going. No. If I say let's go to Zaxby's, you're not going. If I say let's go to Sonic, we can have a date at Sonic, you're not going. No. That's the point. Like it's I'm all like, fast food. No. Um, if it has a drive through, bro. It's not a fucking date. That's how it works, okay? Ice cream and a fucking drive through You gotta right. get up your ass out, okay? Hey. It's and also, be coming over your house ain't a date neither, okay? I ain't even fucking coming over. Shit. I ain't fucking around. Cheers to that. <laughs> That's not no first date. Listen, man. 
I'm a. Say <laughs> crazy on it. Mm. Listen, the coming over to the house. <laughs> I got a bone to pick with these niggas. Ooh! Set it up. The Dude, coming over to the house is just like. Yo, it should be off limits. Like, it should be off limits. For the first date? You don't even know me. And what you're sending me your address. Like Also, the time that you're trying to get me I over think there, you're a psycho. Yes, and I think you do this with everybody. <laughs> Especially if you're inviting me after 5 p.m. to your house. No. Do you know I was born yesterday? Uh, yay hey what all i'm gonna say is i have my mind made up on one person <laughs> I, I was dating one person y'all and i said hey yo he coming over hey don't get me started because i've definitely done it on the first night he ain't fucking around but what i, I ain't saying, fucking around i ain't fucking around when i see someone i want Mm. I'm gonna go get it. You That's me? what happened with me. It is one time. It was just one time. <laughs> it was just one time. I said, hey, we done matched. We done texted. We done FaceTime. We done talked for about like a whole week and a half, two weeks type shit. Yeah, so if the vibe is right and you feel like doing it, that's fine. Girl, Imagine and it was giving said, like it was giving love is blind type shit. Yes. Where you're like talking to somebody for 10, 12 hours and out the day for the two room. weeks. Mm -hmm. It was like that for me. Because I'm like the amount of communication that was had prior to the first link up. I was like, there's no doubt about this. Like you're coming over. My situation was not a dating app situation it was just like a i met you in real life but i was in a relationship when we met mm -hmm. but there was always chemistry so then when i got single it was like oh the first link i already know i already know what's going down i already know what time it is yeah. okay i know what i'm putting down damn you picking it up though damn okay he picked it up hey for six years that was dramatic hey sometimes it works Six years is crazy. I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm triggered a little bit. Hey. I just feel like right now dating is just so it's just trash. But then it's just like you see people that do have success stories, and you see like the people that are actually in really what I mean, what seem to be really good and healthy relationships. I mean, not even just from what it seems like. If you're saying it, I'm gonna believe what you said. It's healthy, yes. right? So I'm it's like, like what I posted on my TikTok story though. It's like you, you're one foot in, one foot out. Like, yeah. Okay, I like being outside, but then the other point is like I like the attention I have with this guy. I know where it could go, but then like the other half is like, girl, you're outside, you're young. <sighs> Spread your wings. I don't and know. Fly. I'm like, just feeling like I do like being outside, but at too. the same time, I want to have that person. And when I do find that person, it's like I want to be with you and experience life with you before yes. we get to oh, we're gonna get married, have kids, and all of that. So that's why I'm just like, how long are we really going to do this? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's just like, damn. But coming from me, barely ever being single in my life. I mean, I probably so had about like a year on me. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a year. Single. Because, yeah. um, nah, yeah. that one, that one thing he's talking about, we locked <laughs> in. That one! Stop it. Hey. <laughs> that one hey. thing he's talking about, we locked in. I'm like, hey. All right, now. Locked into what? What are we locked into? Niggas want to do everything except for ask you to be their girlfriend. Niggas want to call you everything but a title. Everything but a title. Everything little, but, yeah, oh, yeah, oh I don't want to mess up what we have. I don't want to do, oh, my God, title what is this. Have? I'm like, y'all are crazy. You want wife treatment and I'm just what? Yeah, my little yeah yeah. One I call you. One of many? One call that's uh embarrassing. That? It is embarrassing. It's so and do y'all think we don't sit here and think about that? Like you just think that we're just deer in headlights. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. Hey, I don't know what they, they think. They swear they got a game. So I don't know what they here think. Plotting it's on your demise. Really my bad. brother. It's really bad, but your clock is ticking. You know who you are. 
You know you are. This nigga really said he want to go to Chick-fil-A. Well, mine said I need a water cup. This and is then what filled my lemonade. <laughs> he said something more chill and casual for the first No, day. the nigga said and then, I'm built different. He said I'm, I move different. So we're going to do something chill and casual on the first <gasps> day. And then after that, once we see what the vibes are, then we can do something more extravagant. I said, it sounds like he's extravagant. Been, he's been city growed before. So yeah, he's not, so he's, he's real. To get ran off on. I'm like, but like extravagant. No. I'm like, we could get a plate at the Mexican restaurant for the same price that a Chick Fil A meal is going to cost. But you're sitting here telling me that the Mexican restaurant is more extravagant. It's considered extravagant. I'm like, this is no, I think just that's a good time. A Mark regular ass restaurant. You don't dress up. You just go in there and you fucking eat and drink, and that's it. You could also do a two for twenty. It's a good time. A little trifecta. Basically, said anything outside Chick Fil A is extravagant. I'm like, are you crazy? Because, baby, I do have standards and I am a bougie ass bitch, but I will sit down at Chili's and have a two for 24. With a trifecta. With a trifecta. So, I mean, I just don't want to go to Chick-fil-A. Because I can go to Chick-fil-A on my lunch break that I give myself. I don't have to go with a nigga to Chick-fil-A. I don't need you buying my Chick-fil-A right now at the, at the first link. Call me crazy, but... Do you think I'm going home and writing in my diary about the Chick-fil-A sauce I had with you? <laughs> but then, on the other hand, you on FaceTime with me talk about, oh, I should have came over to watch a scary movie. Stop it. Just stop. I should have came over and watched a scary movie. Before but our first, first link, link Chick-fil-A. But our first link has to be something chill and casual like Chick-fil-A. Chill and casual for our first link at Chick-fil-A, but you want me to come over and watch movie with you. In your house. So that you're you just live on in. this app to fuck. That's yeah. what it sounds like. In the house that you live in with your parents. Okay, I think that's going to be enough for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it was at that moment and you knew. It was fucked up. Is that the moment? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. just was, I'm just saying. I'm just the real moment was the water cup and then it spiraled we have this weird sink <laughs> with men they act up and do the stupidest shit at the same time like <laughs> we're both getting weird ass comments about the concert we attended to same fucking time <laughs> literally both niggas still awake <laughs> what are you doing it's 2 a.m what are you doing? I'm not signing because I can do that. <laughs> Who are I don't even Sir. <sighs> That's all you can put. Sir. Yeah. It's it's wild out here. That's why I'm just like, it's pure entertainment. I feel like a lot of people don't really want shit serious right now. And dating apps are just They want it when it's cold outside though. No cap. Yeah, better hurry up because it ain't getting cold no time. Soon. The time is ticking. It'll still be hot. Right I know now. it's gonna be hot, but it's just like cozy season is upon us. Cozy, comfortable cozy. in my skin. Yeah, it's cozy for who I am. One fifty-seven a.m. All right, y'all. We're gonna wrap it up here. We just needed to rant. We had a bone to pick with these men, and we look the fuck good. Okay, we got our custom corsets on. That's what we do. My body is giving body on this couch, though. Okay. Oh, we had different shorts me. on under. We had both had black shorts on. No, you had jean shorts and I had black shorts on tonight. Follow us on Instagram. I'm sure it's on this screen. How to get rid of them right now. Because How to get rid of the shorts. <laughs> because we really killed the look. By the time this is up, our posts are up. So. Yes. Go ahead and double tap that. Follow us. We engage with y'all, you know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on both of our channels. And we'll see you guys in the next Tipsy Talk. Bye.